tonight we're going to be building some fishing pole holders. The boards that I've already got pre-drilled, they're three and a quarter inches deep, 32 inches long, and an inch thick. I've got to still cut out a backer board and another board for a French cleat system. The holes, this is going to be for the top of the poles, and these are an inch and a quarter in diameter. And then these bore or these holes right here are two inches in diameter. So let's go ahead and get the backer boards cut. All right, I don't want to send this through on the table saw. So what I'm doing is I'm going to cut it a little bit oversized at 33 inches, and I'm going to hand saw it down because it is cupped and everything. So I'm going to have to deal with that. And I'm just going to hand saw this board, and then I'll rip it and flatten it out, and we're going to be good to go. After I've gotten these boards cut to three inches, I'm going to be cutting a groove in it to actually mount this into so that it's just not resting against this backer board. It's actually set into this back plate of the uh, fishing pole system. So let's go ahead and get the groove cut in it. Alright, now after I've gotten the groove cleaned all up with the rabbit plane, and I'm going to insert this into the groove after I apply some glue, and then I'm going to flip it over and put three screws on it, or in through the back side just for a uh, little bit extra strength and hold just to hold it while ever the uh, glue is drying. To mount the fishing pole rack, I want to use a French cleat system. I think that's going to be the strongest way to hold these all up, and it kind of will allow you to move them around if you want. And by doing a French cleat system, you take your table saw blade and just tilt it 45 degree angle, and it'll come up with this. It'll give you an angle on the inside, and then you mount a piece on the wall. And when you go and set this in, it actually will lock in there and become very strong.
after you've gotten your French cleat system assembled, you can go ahead and admire it and look at how good you've done. On this one, I went ahead and already, before I installed it, I did a round over bit on it. On this one, I'm just going to be taking some sandpaper and knocking off the sharp edge. And you can kind of customize it the way you want. You can put the little slits in on the side so that you slide your fishing pole in and it'll actually hook into your uh, little holes right there. Um, clean it up, sand it down, put some finish on it. I'm still deciding on what I'm going to finish it with and how that's going to happen. But I wanted to go ahead and just give you guys a down and dirty on how to make your own fishing pole rack for the upcoming holiday season. It'll make a great Christmas gift. You can do it out of pallet wood if you would like. Uh, that's something free that you'd be able to do. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and go ahead and share it all over the place. Google, Twitter, Facebook, all those kind of things. And as always, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Each and every subscription helps. And I hope you guys enjoy your uh, holiday season and uh, look forward to more woodworking and blacksmithing videos.